Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make vegetarian instant ramen and vegan dumplings. This meal was absolutely delicious. I'm super excited to show you guys, so let's get started with the video. Begin by opening and draining your tofu. Lay some napkins over a dish towel. Then place your tofu onto the napkins. Wrap your tofu in the towel and then place a heavy object on it. You can use a book or a pan. We're doing this to squeeze out all the moisture and dry out our tofu. Allow your tofu to sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. In the meantime, we're going to prepare our ingredients. Finely dice one carrot. Then dice some green onions. After that, chop one cabbage. Cut your cabbage in half. Then remove the core. Then begin chopping it. When you're finished, set your diced and chopped vegetables to the side. Cut your tofu into cubes. When you're finished, split your tofu in half. Place each half of your tofu in two separate bowls. Now we're gonna begin making our dumplings. In your bowl with the tofu, add your diced carrot, 1 4 cup of diced bell peppers, 1 4 cup of diced green onions, 1 4 cup of diced onion, and one cup of your chopped cabbage. Then mix everything together until well combined. By the way, it's easier if you mix it up with your hands. Now add one tablespoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of cornstarch, a half a teaspoon of salt, 1 4th teaspoon of pepper, 1 half teaspoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of sherry vinegar, 1 tablespoon of cilantro, and 1 tablespoon of minced garlic. Mix everything together until well combined. When you're finished, set your bowl to the side. Now taking some wonton wrappers or dumpling wrappers, we're going to make our dumplings. The ones I get come out square, so I usually have to shape them so they're round. I usually do this with a cookie cutter or a knife. I also used to make my dumplings the traditional way, but since I make so many, I got this handy little tool. So basically, you're gonna place your dumpling wrapper on the dumpling maker, then you're going to 
Place your wrapper onto the dumpling maker, then brush the edges with water. After that, add a half a tablespoon of your filling onto the inside of your wrapper. Then close the dumpling maker together and you're finished! Using the dumpling maker makes making dumplings way easier. Since I make a bunch of these dumplings and then I freeze them just to reheat later, it saves a lot of time. However, if you don't want to get a dumpling maker, then I'll have a link in the description below on how to make dumplings with just your hands. In a large pan over medium heat, add 1 tablespoon of olive oil. Then add your dumplings to the pan. Let your dumplings cook for 4 minutes. Usually after the 2 minute mark, I like to flip my dumplings on their side to cook. After the 4 minutes, add 1 4th cup of water and then let your dumplings steam for 6 to 8 minutes. Once your dumplings are finished cooking, place them on a paper towel covered plate. Okay, so now we're going to make the dumpling sauce. In a small bowl, add 1 4th cup of soy sauce. Then add 2 tablespoons of rice vinegar. One tablespoon of chili garlic sauce, some sesame oil, and some green onions. Mix everything until well combined. Now we're going to make our instant ramen. We're going to begin by making the crispy tofu that goes into our ramen. In a small bowl, add 1 tablespoon of teriyaki sauce. Then add 1 8 teaspoon of pepper, 1 8 teaspoon of onion powder, 1 8 teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 8 teaspoon of creole seasoning, 1 tablespoon of sesame oil, and 1 8 teaspoon of season salt. Then mix everything together until well combined. Remember that tofu we split into two bowls? Well, get the other bowl and pour your mixture over it. Stir your tofu into the mixture until your tofu is completely coated in the mixture. Then add one tablespoon of cornstarch. The cornstarch is gonna help our tofu become crispy. Then mix again. When you're finished, place your tofu on a baking sheet. When you're finished, place your tofu into the oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, take your tofu out of the oven and flip them over. Then place them back in the oven for another 15 minutes. Once your tofu is finished cooking, place them inside a bowl and add the sauce of your choosing. I just added more teriyaki sauce. Stir everything together until your tofu is well coated. When you're finished, set your tofu to the side. 
Then take the instant ramen of your choice. I'm using this one because I think it's the best. It tastes awesome. And make it. So for my instant ramen, I had to add two cups of water into a small pot. Bring it to a simmer and then add my noodles and let the noodles cook for four minutes. Add the soup packet in a bowl. Add the water from the pot. Mix everything together, then add your noodles. After that, add your toppings. I added corn, the crispy tofu we made before, some green onions, and one boiled egg. I know they're usually supposed to be soft boiled eggs, but I'm not really a fan of soft boiled eggs. Then just assemble your plate. I also added some chili oil to my ramen. And this is the finished product. This meal is absolutely delicious. It was so good. The tofu for the ramen was crispy, delicious, and well seasoned. The ramen was absolutely delicious. I'll have a link to it in the description below because it is top notch. The dumplings were really, really good, and especially with the dumpling sauce that I made, it just makes it 10 times better. A lot of people don't like tofu, and my parents don't like tofu either, but if you make it the right way, it tastes delicious. I even got my parents to admit that the crispy tofu and the tofu dumplings were good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in the video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! By the way, when I make a bunch of dumplings and I freeze them, I'll place them on a baking sheet and then put them inside the freezer for an hour, and then put the dumplings in a Ziploc bag. And to cook them, you just use the same method as in the video, just place them on the pan and then steam them.